I just look like I came from cleaning a house. I just look like I was born in Miami. Girl, your head is a net B. What's up guys, Joey626 back again, and I wanted to talk about an important topic for me. I've been asked, Joey, I know you're passionate, but what else are you passionate about? Yeah, I always say poetry, and me making videos is, is my passion as well. But I sat back and I know that having friends is what I cherish and what I'm passionate about. Because having a few friends is important. I think for everybody, you, you gain friends and you, you lose friends. It's, of course, it has happened to me many times. And sometimes it's, it's heartbreaking because you lose good friends, people that you really connected with, you had good times with, and sometimes you have to let go of these people. Because even though you guys do connect uh, emotionally or just, you know, because you guys can relate, sometimes these people are just toxic for you. I've had to do that where you just you distance yourself from people because you know that they're not going to change for the better they they change for the worse or they get they're still doing the same old shit um, that you used to do i mean when you see yourself growing and maturing and evolving and you're doing things for you and you're focusing on yourself and your family and you have these friends and they're doing the same thing that they used to do with you you know they're not good for you anymore because you just want to evolve more. You just don't want to stay there with them, you know, because then you're not going to go anywhere in life. And then I think you kind of realize that when you actually stop hanging out with these type of people. It, and it's true when they say that I'll tell you who you are with the people that you hang out with to a limit because, you, yeah, you can hang out with people and they drink and you, you have a drink too. They get drunk as hell, and you don't have to get drunk, you know, because you, you are in control of yourself. When you do start hanging out with this, these type of people, like, all the time, then you kind of get into their shit, too, and their baggage. And I think that's when you, you know that you're getting into an unhealthy relationship. And it doesn't have to be a romantic relationship only. It can be a friendship, toxic relationship. That has happened to me before, and I've had to let go of people. I feel bad when I have to let go of people, even if they're the nicest and, you know, they do things for me, blah, 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 they're kind, but, I mean, when you know that they're just not good for you, they're not good for you. I personally changed in that way where you just, I used to be super nice and kind. I accepted people for who they were and the things they did most of the time, and sometimes you have to stand back and be like, dude. They're not doing anything good for themselves. So it's like you're being absorbed into their own drama and their own baggage. And then you just like, do I always want to talk to them? And do I really want to listen to this all the time? Like there are people that just you talk to and they're cool and everything, but they just keep talking about the same old shit. And you're just like, yeah, you say that you're going to change and you're going to do this, but... I don't see no action. I always tend to be by myself and I'm okay with that because the only few friends that I have, I really love. So the only few people that I know are doing something with their life and I know they have potential. I know they're smart. I know that I always learn from them. And that's, I think, the most important thing for me is that, that I learn something new from them because I love people that give me advice. I love people that listen to me and my problems, and I always try to do the same because when it comes to friendship and, and, and if you want to build that friendship, you have to respect, listen, and be, if, like the, all the things you want from, from a friend, you have to do them too. And I used to be that person where I was very selfish and it was about me, 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 fuck you, you, you. <laughs> We're human and we always have to figure someone else out and then when you figure them out you open up to them 
then they want to open up to you. And it's that's like a, it's a, like a, like a little playing game of let's see how far our friendship is gonna go. And that's how life is. And that's what I'm passionate about: friendship, my friends. Just knowing that I'll always be there for them, and knowing and be reassured that they're always gonna be there for me. And um, that's that's important to me. I think having friends is important, and being close to a certain someone. If you want to be a good friend, listen. Stop talking shit behind their back. Don't do anything to betray them. Don't lie to them. Because I think being lied to is the worst thing that you can fuck up in. Let me know what you think. Uh, what do you think about friends and the whole spectrum of it? Leave a comment. Subscribe if you haven't. Like this page. Share it. And thank you for watching. Peace, guys.